Hi, I'm George Ann Bender. And I'm Rich Kaiser. And we are coming to you from downtown Nashville, Tennessee, where we have spent a fabulous two days with a group of incredible entrepreneurs. We're jazzed. We had a bunch of really great programs. And it's really wonderful to be here in Nashville and be able to spend some time downtown and look at the, the shops and the creativity of the honky restaurants, tons. the honky tonks, yes, and go in and see some great live music. And we're standing in front of the Ryland Auditorium, which happens to be the birthplace of the Grand Old Opry. So we're not only surrounded by great music and, and wonderful shops and things to do, but also some fabulous history. You know, we were, uh, we just finished a focus group and we had taken a bunch of customers to a business and we talked about exceeding a customer's expectations and what we did is we set them up, right? Yep. We told them that when you go to this business, and it was true, they do far more than anybody else does in their business. And there's a lot of competition around, but we said you can expect what everybody gives you is this much, you're going to get this much from right. them. And we went out to that place and we dropped them off and we gave them all 10 minutes to walk through and, you know, just experience it. And we're as really a excited for them to go through it because we knew that the, the customer service we experienced Perfect. them was top drawer and we knew they were going to get the same cool stuff. And so we had the session. We yep. brought them back to the focus room here and we said, okay, so tell me, how did you like the business? And the response was almost immediate. They said we were disappointed. Disappointed. Yeah, how can you be disappointed? The place is awesome. What are you, nuts? And what they said was that you told us that we were going to get this level of service. We only got this level. They let us down a little bit. But then we sent them to their competitors and they got only this level. This is a much lower level. And they said that they were satisfied. Now, wait a minute. I was confused because they said they're disappointed when they got it way up but here. But it was better, but they were still disappointed. But they were satisfied down here. Yeah. But the difference between the two, and yet they were still disappointed. And it tells us a lot about your business. And what happens in business today when customers have an expectation, when you write a check and you give them an experience, it's so wonderful that what you do is you end up having to deliver that on a consistent basis. Mary Lou Retton said it. She said this year's Olympic gold medal performance will be the next Olympics compulsory routine. routine. And it's not fair, but that's the way it is. So what we want you to do is this. Get a piece of paper and draw a circle in the center of the paper. And sit down with the people who work with you and inside that circle write down all the things that you have to do to do business. Do you have to have a place to park the car? Do you have to have bags? Do you have to have signing? All the things that are, that are have mandatory. To do. Right. Have to do. Right. And you're going to get all excited because you're going to write this whole list and you're going to think, wow, look at all these really cool things we do. And then you get the right to look <laughs> yeah. at everybody and say, we get a C. And a right to say we're no better or worse than those people that just deliver the very essentials because that's what you have to do. What do you say that the business. center of the circle is like the ante and the poker game? If you don't do those things, you, you don't get to They play. don't even come. Right. But what we want you to do after you do that with the staff is draw a larger circle around that small circle and say, what is it that we do beyond the smaller circle that makes us really stand out? And you know what? It's measured in millimeters. It's not miles. You don't have to do extraordinary things, just things that consistently thrill the customer and say, you know what, you didn't have to do that, that was really nice, thank you. Those are the things that make people want to come back. Customers like little creature comforts. They like you to do the little things. So you're going to have this inner circle of all the things that you have to do, and then this outer circle of all the cool things that you do that make you really stand out from everybody else. What happens is the outer circle creates the experience. And we always talk about experiences and how I can only get an experience that you have from you and the people who work in your business. Because nobody can knock you off directly. Who you are is the personality of the business, right? So those things create the experience. Those things also connect you to your customers. But what happens is, once you start doing really cool things in the outer circle, consistently, right, consistently, they get relegated to the center circle as your competition knocks them off and as you, your customers get used to them. So you always have to be thinking of cool things in the outer circle. And what happens then is if they don't get everything that's become now inner circle, they're really disappointed in you, even though you're better than anybody else in the business. And the point is this, that to stand out in a competitive marketplace, and that's what we were talking about down here at all the honky tonks, there's a million bars you can choose. The point is, what you have to do is you've got to move higher and then maintain that level and keep going a little bit higher, doing a little bit more. We never get to stand alone. We have got to constantly keep moving the bar up. So you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to go have lunch in a restaurant in downtown Nashville that took the entire interior from a hundred year old restaurant and moved it here and the reason they have outer circle stuff not just that I mean that's pretty cool to move a hundred year old bar in the woodwork and everything here's what makes them outer circle 
they sell marshmallow peeps in the middle of October. And yes. Makes, that makes your day. That makes my Listen, day. Listen, we do have to go because I'm listening right now and see in Nashville, Music City, music starts at 11 o'clock in the morning down in all these honky tonks. I can hear the music playing and I hear my song. We gotta go. You just like to say honky tonk. I, I gotta go because I gotta go buy out all those marshmallow peeps before they hit the airport. So until we see you next time, I'm George. I'm Rich. <laughs> Talk to you soon.